Let's roll it, girls. Hey there, welcome to this episode of Elvis and the Pink Cadillacs. We're your rock and ride guys, Victory and Skylar. Ready to take you on a pink hue journey through the Elvis' life and music. But hey, quick heads up, we're not experts, just Elvis-loving gals having a blast in the pink Cadillac. Our info might have a funky beat, but it's all about the fun, not the perfection. Picture us dancing in the back seat, sharing Elvis tales, interviews, and good vibes. Join our sisterhood of fans, share your Elvis stories, and let's roll together. So buckle up, because with Elvis in the pink Cadillacs, every journey is an adventure. to another episode of Elvis and the Pink Cadillacs. I've been working for the past five minutes on music and it's not working. (laughs) Victory is angry. (laughs) We're starting this episode off in a holly jolly spirit of the Grinch. So Merry Christmas. (laughs) Guys, we've missed you. I feel like it's been like 10 years since we've sat down and recorded something. I feel like we've like lived three lives since the last recording. I've gone through so much. You have gone through so much. And it's only been three weeks. The last time we recorded something was on November 11th. And it's December 2nd. I'm so happy it's December. I feel like November, it's like a buffering month in between. Like, you don't know if you can decorate fully for Christmas yet or not. It's like Mm -hmm. one of those things where people are like, don't decorate or decorate. I don't know. I can't believe it's already December. Like, seriously. I'm so happy. I love December. December's always been my favorite month. Like, just well, you were born in December. I was Skylar's born birthday in December. is coming it's... up, and she's turning the ripening age of 41. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm 41. Or I'm 40. <laughs> no, I'm turning 26. I am excited. Um, uh, last year, well, Okay, so my birthday is December 9th, and on December 9th will be my year anniversary of Graceland, which is crazy. It's the best 25th birthday ever, spending it there with Elvis, and I miss it so much, but guys, guess what? Guess what? We're going Going back to to Graceland. Well, we're going to Graceland in January. I'm like, we're going back, and I've never been. We're going back to Graceland. (laughs) It is official. We are going to birthday, which is crazy because we've been talking about it for quite a while on here now. We just kept saying, like, we're hoping to go. We're hoping to go. No, we're going. Yeah. No, it's official. Like, Skylar like, bought yeah. her tickets. Yeah. I'll be My there somehow. Um, yeah. <laughs> and a hotel is booked. <laughs> yeah. Um, We are also doing Nashville for two days as well. I am so excited. We get to visit Jillian Cardarelli. Mm -hmm. If you guys know, if I could talk to Elvis' song, she dropped her new single, Blue Christmas, as well. That was so beautiful. So beautiful. If you haven't heard it yet, go check it out. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to be visiting her in Nashville as well. And we're just so excited to meet everyone. There's so much going on in that weekend. It's going to be like... It's so overwhelming. Packed full. Like I told Victory, I was like, I just want to let you know, like when we're there, like it's gonna be nonstop, but like it's gonna be so worth it. Like we have so much to do, especially since Victory's never been to Memphis. Like we have to do all the Memphis stuff that I've I already know. done again. But I'm like, yeah, I would. I'm so okay with that. You need I'm to like, because you're gonna see yeah. things that you didn't see last time. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I love all that stuff too. Like. Going back to Sun Studios, I loved Sun Studios. I can't wait for you to see it. And, I'm so excited. Um, the Peabody is beautiful. <gasps> can we I watch can't the ducks? Wait. I want we the ducks. We can watch the ducks because I didn't get to see the ducks last time. We're the watching ducks. the ducks. We're sitting there front row watching them do their little duck parade with the duck master. <sighs> can um, you imagine being the duck master? Like that was your job in life? Right? What a good what job. A, what a great job. <laughs> So simple. <laughs> and then we're going to arcade restaurant. I only went once last time, and let me tell you, it's like my favorite place. The food was so good, and it was what like did you so get? affordable. I got sweet potato pancakes and something else, and they were it was just so good. Aaron got like a boozy milkshake. I wasn't a Ooh. big fan of that, but it's fine. <laughs> um, 
I we will go multiple times because I once is not enough. Like I love arcade restaurants. So I'm much. excited, and we're gonna check out the Beehive where Priscilla used to get her hair done. They have like yes. the retro hair dryers yes. over there too. Cute photo op. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Um, a peanut so butter funny. banana sandwich. I get to try everything that Elvis liked. I'm mm-hmm. so excited. Not for me, but for Victory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even like a big peanut butter gal. Like I don't even yeah. know if I'm gonna try it. Well, every night at the gra- at the Graceland at the guest house, which we will be at the staying at the guest house, um, they do. When I was there, it's 9 p.m. I don't know if it changed to 10 p.m. though, but they do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and hot chocolate for free. And let me tell you, the hot chocolate Oof. is so good. I tried the sandwich even though I didn't like peanut butter and I still couldn't do it so it's like if you're just not a peanut butter lover then it's just no. not your cup of tea I was tea. like can this just be a jelly sandwich like I would Isn't love there, a jelly like, sandwich brownies that like Elvis like too like those chocolate chunk brownies or something like there is like a certain brownie recipe I've heard I wonder if I they actually do don't know too. that I'll need to we'll find out a- these things but we're Guys, we're, like, seriously so excited. Like, I feel like booking the trip to Graceland, like, reignited something in me. And I'm just, like, I'm on – I've – obviously, we've always been on the Elvis train. But I'm, like, Elvis train times 50,000 right now. Yep. Like, I'm ready. Like, it's just Elvis 24-7. It was already, but it's 10 times more. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it like – Yeah, have... it's, like, revamped again. Because you have something yeah. new to look forward to. Because mm-hmm. our big trip back in, like, September was Mount Dora. Like, that was something that yeah. like, we were trying to get to. And then the um, trip with the, all the girls and everything also. Yeah. And then after Mount Dora ended and, like, September ended, we were just like, what now? It you know, like, burnt- what's the next oh, big thing? I want to talk about this for a second because, like, it was, like, the burnout was, like, awful. Like, it – I <laughs> – we were both just not feeling – from uh, literally October, like, y'all – like, no one would know this, but, like – we were like unwell in a way of like we just could not get ourselves to like to to post to like do the podcast it was so we did it but it was so hard like we both were like I'm so burnt out right now like I just want like a week off but like that Literally. wasn't possible so we nope. did it and so it's so refreshing to actually feel like fully recovered and just like ready like refreshed ready to go like back we're back <laughs> just hi lo- we just love it it's just it feels good to I feel really yeah. too I'm not in school like I did a cram course mm-hmm. for a week and a half and I felt like a different person like I didn't even know like what the outside world looked like for a week and a half and that does something on the body and then I got sick this last week and was like mm-hmm. trying to recover from that as well so I'm but like today is like the first day that I feel like okay health yeah. wise everyone so, victory got whoosh. her real estate license <laughs> yay <laughs> i officially i'm with la rosa um realty now and anyone in central florida or the state of florida that needs a house let me know um i can Hit help her up. you out Hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a fellow elvis girly finding you a home or helping you sell let me know <laughs> I don't I just feel like no one knows this but Victory is literally a woman of like many trades like I'm not kidding like she has like 20 different things under her belt that she does and I like don't know how she does it so thank you (laughs) I I think people just like think of me as like the Elvis girly who's like obsessed with like Priscilla and Elvis and I'm like but like I have so much more going on in my life than just that so like me not updating my socials or posting content is because I literally don't have time like Mm -hmm. yeah like (laughs) it's been crazy one day she's like Princess Ariel one day she's doing another thing one day she's from Hocus Pocus like literally (laughs) And I, these aren't cosplays. Like, this is my job. I don't yeah. just, like, dress up for fun and, like, walk around. But, like, like no, yeah. I, I do this as a job for mm-hmm. for events and stuff like that. But it's a lot of fun. Sky sees all, like, the behind-the-scenes pictures and everything yeah. like that. It's always so funny whenever I'm getting ready or something. And we're both, we're both big fans of Ariel. Like, the more her and I, we talk, we realize how uncommon we are. Mm-hmm. We used to dye yeah. our hair red. Can we talk about how we both used to be <laughs> redheads? <laughs> We did. We did. And it was literally because of Ariel. You know, like, we're not kidding. Like, Yeah, which I do. I was telling Victor recently, I was like, I do miss my red hair. Like, I actually really loved being red. But we were talking about how it's like such an upkeep. Like, it is. Like, with yeah. the, because we're both naturally brunettes. So with mm-hmm. the growth of the roots growing out so quickly, yeah. it was just the upkeep. And just, you can't, like, when you wash your hair, the red leaves. 
Oh yeah, literally. Same with the black. Like the mm-hmm. black is literally it, it's in my tub. Like from- Oh, is it really? Yeah, does yours not bleed at all? No, mine's permanent. Mine is permanent. But okay. it, just, it still bleeds. Like that's how that's crazy. color has always been on my hair. But yeah, it, it brings me so much joy though, like always going to get my hair, like my roots retouched with the black because I just think it reminds me of Elvis. I'm like he had to no, do completely. this all the time. Like he literally had to do this all the time. Completely. Like, just- I was like before Graceland, I like messaged my hairdresser. I was like, Can you like squeeze me in right before? Like I have an yeah. appointment on January second. I was like, I need to be like fresh. Girl, I have well, let's talk about this for a second. Why when you go to Graceland does it feel like you literally have to like look your best? Like as if we're like as if Elvis is gonna open the door. Like I'm not kidding. I don't know. Like, I haven't been. Is that really a thing? I was just thinking like for photos. I didn't want my grays showing. No, I maybe I'm <laughs> delusional, but I just feel like to me, I'm like I literally have to look my best. Like we're going to Elvis's home, and like I know he's there, so I'm like I just need to. Yeah, look amazing. I, I just don't want my grays showing. But yes, that also. I just am yeah. self conscious of graying at 25. That's that's it. <laughs> like, I feel like Elvis is opening the door, and I'm like I just have yes. a bunch of gray hairs that grow on my head at this point. Um. <laughs> Well, it's like I'm gonna be the same way. Like I'm gonna get my hair redyed black, and then I'm gonna. I love getting my brows laminated and tinted. I will get that I wanna before. Try that. Like I you should try, try it that. before you go. <laughs> let's go together. Where well, are I we mean, going? Like, I that came out wrong. I meant let's do it together. I was like, we, I'm when we need are to fly there. out to Arizona yeah. just to get my brows laminated <laughs> and then fly back to Florida. Could you imagine? Get nails done, toes done. Yes. Like, you know. We're already shopping outfits. I just, yes. some, I've never owned corduroy pants, and I just got my first pair of corduroy pants, and they're just, like, I giving 70s. That. I'm it's so perfect. excited. I'm so excited. It's so exciting to outfits. plan, like, literally everything. Like, I bought an and outfit And it's going to be cold. Like, where we're both it from, is, dude. we it's don't be cold. have cold weather. Yeah, I'm, like, going to be freezing in my outfit I bought yesterday, but that's okay. Like, it's for... It's for Elvis. Y'all, it's for the Elvis. outfit she bought, she looks snatched in. Like, she sent me that photo, and I was like, holy cow. She looks Dude, fantastic. I First of all, thank you. Second of all, I put it on, and I was like, holy fuck. Like, I literally, I am walking out with this outfit. Like, I, that's Where did you get it at? Marshalls. Oh, I love Marshalls. They because, have good deals. Dude, Marshalls has been putting out, like, the cutest stuff recently. I walked in there, like, three weeks ago, and I saw this, like, blue outfit, right? Oh, And sorry. that's what I was going back for, but it's not there anymore, because Marshalls redoes their stuff like I literally feel like every two days they have completely new Mm -hmm. things out so I was like damn that sucks but then I saw what I got and I was like I was like okay I'm gonna try it on and I wasn't even in the mood to try anything on but I was like I'll just try it on and I put it on and I was like okay period like that's is that for like birthday what day is that I don't know yet it depends I Um, gotta I need to yeah it depends on everything I have nothing except for my corduroy pants no I have literally nothing (laughs) even for going out in like Memphis and just doing stuff I'm like I want to dress cute like obviously when we're doing that I'm gonna dress warm well Nashville that'd be so good for Jillian's like concert no yeah we're gonna go watch Jillian sing like yeah (laughs) we're so excited you guys have no idea we're so excited actually like I want to bring the link up um because um there is a show in Nashville on um Elvis's birthday yep and it is nighttime and at night um and I want to bring it up because it's so cool it has a bunch of people that were like in Elvis's band um his cousin Donna Presley is gonna be there like and it's it's a cool event like if you're in memphis just drive three hours to nashville and go to nashville that night and go to the event and so i actually it's had worth seen it. it i saw it on instagram before um jillian sent it to us and i was like damn that looks really cool so it's on the day of elvis's birthday okay mm-hmm. so you can do all the morning stuff and like do the celebration with him that's what morning. we're gonna do and then we're yeah. gonna drive over after and yeah. stay two so, nights it is i can't like get the picture up let me like try to like if you've seen this poster, this is what it is, guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is Elvis. We can link it. Birthday bash. Yeah, we can link it in our stories. We can link it. Um, but it's like Glenn Hardin's gonna be there. Terry Blackwood, Larry Strickland, Shane Keister, pa- Paul Leem, Donna Rhodes, Craig Morris, Larry Hall, Mike. Oh my God, I'm gonna butcher his last name. Brignardello, Carrie Marks, and then special guest Donna Presley. Like. 
How that's cool so exciting that? i'm really so excited like to meet ago. all these people i know i'm excited too and um, so many connections so many connections like you have to yeah. go to memphis i feel like to meet all these people that's where they just are also like we're running out of time like victor and i were talking about this the other day don't even start with me and- we're tr- <laughs> okay hold oh, on no, we need to stop no. about running this is yeah. what- June. June one ego (laughs) is what set this off in our mind two nights ago. Does anyone know where June is? Where is June? Um the reason why we are in a June spiral is because I finally got my ish together and I just started reading. Took her long enough. If you guys listen a few episodes back, I literally was obsessing about this book and Sky was like, interesting. Right. I had no idea what she's talking about. because i had started june's book like in september i think Mm -hmm. and i got like maybe a little less than 50 percent through it and so i only knew what happened in the beginning and then um uh, shout out to kelsey she called me out on her story the other day and she was like people who don't finish books I, I was dying laughing because I love being the person that people know as, like, can't finish a book. Like, we'll start a book and then start another book. But, like, that, like, kind of inspired me. I was like, you know, I should really pick up June's book again. Like, You really need to. I mm-hmm. – uh, I <laughs> – all right, so let me let me fill y'all in because she, obviously if you guys saw her story, she was like, "Pick up your phone." And we <laughs> she read the last chapter to me on FaceTime. I FaceTimed it, but for some reason the audio did not pick up on it. And literally in the video, Skylar is having a mental breakdown. She is crying. She's yelling at her Velvet Elvis, "Why did you have to do this?" I was sitting there like I already filtered through these emotions two weeks before. So I was just reliving it through her. And it, like, you guys, if we just like fast forwarded Skylar without the audio, how you were acting, I think that alone would give off the vibe of how you truly felt. I felt like so let me preface this by saying I thought I knew how June's book ended. OK, because a lot no. of people Gosh. on Instagram, they post like excerpts from June's book. And I feel like. They, they post excerpts of, like, all the books, right? And mm-hmm. I feel like you get a sense of, like, what happens in the book when people do that. But June's book, because it's not as accessible as other books, is so, like, well-kept that you don't know what the ending is. Oof. And I was convinced I knew what the ending was. And so I knew... Spoiler. Spoiler. If you don't want to hear anything about June's book, pa- fast forward. Um, I'm giving you a last warning because I'm going to say something. Yep. I knew that I thought it ended at the train station. Okay. I knew they had a meeting at the train station. And at that train station, June says, I can't be with you. I'm engaged. And Elvis is like, I have to tell you something. Uh, first of all, first of all, what are you The whole thing. The it's whole just, thing. <laughs> I've been having like a mentee be over it for the past like 48, 72 hours now. And um, I was reading it and I was like, I think I'm Okay. Like, I just kept going, and I was like, I think I'm okay. And then I had a moment where I was like, I don't f- – I I need to stand up. Like, I kind of feel like I can't breathe. Like, that's, I feel like I'm kind of getting a panic attack in the way because I just was like – it hurt so bad. Like, it just hurt. It hurt. And so um, when I knew what was coming, like, with the last chapter, I was like, I need to read this with someone on FaceTime because I'm, like, actually about to go into a mental breakdown – and I did. And thank God I did it with victory. <laughs> I just wanted her to be there. I was like, I need to read the chapter out loud to you. And I need to just let the tears flow because I like, I need to do this with someone. And it would be victory, of course. <laughs> she, had, she had no idea either that I was the no biggest idea. June fan. She like, t- I literally wrote a whole post about it and everything. She had no idea because I, I, li- I truly think. If, like, Elvis and June were still together, they would have gotten married. Like, I think they were the right people. They were endgame. People. Yeah, they, they were. were. Endgame. They were. And like, I, oh, my gosh. And her mom. No. Her knowing, like, Elvis's mom and just. The <gasps> parts with Gladys. Are I like, know. Like, let me just say that this is, like, my fa- my favorite book, like, of all time now. Like, yep. if anyone's going to ask me what my favorite book is. I not just an Elvis book, my favorite book. I will say this book. I think everyone needs to read it. And it's just the love, the love, the innocence, like the mm-hmm. pureness of it, because this is before 
Gladys passed. This is before Elvis went into the army. This is before Elvis put any type of substance into his body. And it was so pure. Like, he still had his innocence. And it's such a different side to Elvis. It's the Elvis that I love so much. It's the Elvis that we all fell in love with and he showed throughout his lifetime, but in very snippets of what we saw. Yeah. Wait. And, like, we read – well, we, okay, so Skylie's starting Ginger's book, but I've read all the girlfriend's mm-hmm. books, the yeah. main four, I would say, because I'm counting June as one of the main four now. Yeah. And June is my favorite. I can – clear. Favorite. I mean, favorite. I am, like – I know y'all are going to be like, what about Priscilla? June's my favorite. No, favorite. Like, you yeah, don't like, – like, <laughs> once you realize that, like – Elvis is so different in June's book. Like, he is, like, I feel, I feel this. Like, y- if you guys have a different opinion, like, that's totally fine. I just feel like he's his pure, authentic self mm-hmm. in June's book. Like, he is Elvis. Like, when you think of Priscilla and, like, how he wanted her to, like, dress like this or, and she wanted to please him and all this stuff. That wasn't like that with June at all like june stood her own ground she stood her ground like she would never let elvis like tell her what to do you know what i mean and like there was even like i think about this moment like she went to the hair salon and got like a pixie a blonde, cut a blonde streak oh my gosh that was actually her and pat yeah, that yeah, was literally the pat. funniest thing and oh it was like gosh. and elvis was like i don't know if you should do that but he wasn't like you shouldn't do that like as if in priscilla's book he would have been like no like your hair is only black you know what i mean and so she did it and she mm-hmm. was like, I don't care. I'm just going to do it. And it came out awful. Like it was so bad. And there's, I wish like, there was a, a photo of that. With it. There is. There is. On I the want to see of her it. Book, you see the, oh, well, the I had streak. Audible. Yes. I will show you the picture because okay. I realized it when I saw the picture. I was like, oh my God, that's the blonde streak. And like when she <laughs> went to show Elvis, it was just so cute because he was like, oh, you did it. <laughs> And, he, and she was like, it looks so bad. And he was like, it's not too bad. Like, it was just like, it was so wonderful to see healthy. how he was. It was just healthy. It was, healthy. It it was, was not like, toxic. It was healthy. It was, it's like, that's just like that. Like, I love that Elvis so much. And like, I that, feel like that's the love that he was searching for after him and June ended with every girl. Yeah, but it just was truly. never the same after his mother passed away. Because mm-hmm. I felt like he was also trying to fill that void of his yes. mom as well with each girl. Yes. So it turned the relationship into, like, a significant other, but also, like, a motherly role. And it was, like, hard to balance both in one. Yes. And I will, so, I will say, like... This is, like, what I was going to say for my fixation of the week, that I have been fixating how, in June's book, I feel like Elvis was still, like, the man of the house, and, like, yep. he had to take care of others, and, like, like when he went on tour, I keep thinking about the specific event, he was on tour in Tampa, and he was talking <sighs> to June, and he was just, like, <laughs> literally, yeah. and I, I just, I, he was talking to June, and he was just saying, like, I just feel like I have to, like, take care of everyone. Like, he needed to make sure that everyone was in the limo before he got off stage so everyone got home safe. And he was, like, counting heads. Like, you know, like, is everyone here? Like, he was the one, like, paying attention to that. Whereas in later in his life, it felt very much like everyone was taking care of Elvis constantly. And, like, it was such a different dynamic to see him and feel like he was kind of the one taking care of everyone. I was so attracted to those qualities of him, too, because I love, like, Speaking of, like, okay, we're going to get into girly talk this episode, I feel like, with this book. Um, yeah. Just, like, I love a man that is willing to, like, stand his own ground and almost, like, mm-hmm. be the man of the household. Like, I know yeah. that's not for everyone, but, like, personally for me and, like, my desire of, like, who I want my significant other to be, like, those qualities were so mm-hmm. attractive in that book. And yeah. the way June was just so kind and, like, you know, played that feminine role of, like, yes, you can, like, relax around me and be your true form. Yeah. It was so beautiful and just so – I agree mm. yeah it just felt very authentic it felt Mm -hmm. very authentic and like that's what he wanted he wanted like he wanted that type of relationship and love and like Mm -hmm. oh and just the relationship with her and Gladys as well and how she spoke on Gladys because like we've never had a girlfriend talk about Gladys because we've never none of them were with Gladys so it was so sweet to hear the little mannerisms and conversations that she had with Elvis's Mm -hmm. mom and the house I'm just thinking, okay, also, I love the relationship of her and Pat. Pat is so funny, too, so much. Like, they, I honestly felt like, 
Oh, she's Pat not just here passed with us. away recently. Yeah. Like recently, which is mm-hmm. so sad. That's why, first of all, let me circle back to why we even got into this conversation. That's why we feel like we're literally racing for time yeah. because it's like people are passing away and we're learning What's about it? them as they're like literally passing away. And it's like, how oh my old God. is June now? She's like 86, 87. 80 something. I don't know. And But Homegirl still got her wits. Uh, we saw a video I of her know. back in March and she's so funny. She's I so love cute. love her. She's like, girls, we knew how to pick them, didn't we? We like, knew how to pick them. <laughs> the way she goes, hey girls. Like she doesn't go, girls. hey guys. No, she goes, hey yeah. girls. Like she I knows. I love that woman so much. And she's so beautiful. And I just, that book moved me. It moved me so much. And I, a lot of you guys know, like, I'm a 50, 50s girly through and through. 56, 57 are, like, my era. Like, that's my Elvis. And getting to have a look into how he was mm-hmm. in those quiet moments. Because Ugh. I feel like in the 50s, we don't have as much, like, high-quality footage of him being himself. Like, we do in the 70s, but that's the way it is. And Elvis on tour. And we have more of a look and interviews and stuff like that. Where the 50s, like, stuff was so really grainy and, like... We have interviews, we have television specials, but we have really grainy footage of performances. We just don't have a lot of moments where we get to see him, like, be himself. Truly himself. To have this book, to, like, let us peek into that, like, I feel so much love for that. I feel it makes me so happy because I, I just love him. Like, I just feel like he, he was just so pure and he was just so authentic and, in this book and back in the day and i just it makes me happy and i will cherish this book forever well and we also don't see like elvis on a normal schedule that's like something yeah. else we don't know like he was like yeah. out during the day he went to bed normally like it was little things like that that mm-hmm. i always wondered how did he cope before fame like did he have a normal sleeping schedule so this is something like he always struggled with so it was like yeah. very reassuring that june made detail of that she was like this yeah. is before any substance use this is before anything of that sort so it just painted a clear picture of the setting how elvis was at that time and the relationship that he had with june and i love that book i love june so much i love june i love june and i i feel like after reading june's book i'm like this was like this was true love like this was true love like truly well unchained melody he's saying uh, unchained melody (laughs) like guys okay wait (laughs) Another spoiler. I'm so sorry. I feel like we have to like put like minutes of like when we talk about June's book if no one wants to hear about it. But um, Unchained Melody was a thing for Elvis in 56. He played it for her backstage and she was mm-hmm. waiting for it to be released. She had no idea when it would be released. And, then- and she found it. Well, it was released after his death. Like she literally, yeah. I think she heard he it on the radio. Until 1977. Yeah, I could not believe like, it. I want to know why he held it until 1977. Because he would sing Unchained Melody though, also with with Linda. Linda. Yeah. yeah, and I'm I like, remember but that. I would give anything to hear a version of 50s Unchained Melody. 50s Unchained Melody. I could cry right now. Like I, if there's ever a release of 50s stuff and Unchained Melody is on there. You won't hear from me for a week. I'm not kidding. Excuse me, Angie. Do you have anything in the archives? Anything in the know? archives? I'm begging. And then, oh my God. With Is It So Strange? Like, okay. I yeah, have actually, I, I don't think I'd ever heard Is It So Strange for some reason um, before the book. So mm-hmm. in the book, another spoiler. I'm so sorry. We have to this is this. this is just literally going to be a June yeah, episode, I feel I like, know. at this point. like <laughs> We still have so many other things to talk about, too. It's crazy. Um, I just, they talk, Elvis, in this moment, first of all, they're looking at the moon. I'm going to post this about, like, an Instagram post very soon because me and the moon are like this, and I love the moon, and, like, Elvis mentions the moon and I was like oh my god Elvis magic anyways so he talks about this song it's so strange he sings to her he's like I feel like this is like about us like I love this song like I love you I want to be with you I want to marry you I can't marry you till three years literally end my life bro anyways, June hated the colonel because of that too yeah. June like did not yeah. she says that in the book <laughs> yeah like the colonel and June were not friends Vibing um, at it all. was also F Nick, Nick Adams. <laughs> Nick Adams, you are not a friend of mine, my guy. I'll tell you that right now. Is he still with us? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, well then it doesn't But still it's okay. he Let would him come know. in between 
Elvis in June and he would be obnoxious. I'm like, go On home. purpose, though. He was hired go by the home. colonel, right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, what she said. I mean, obnoxious. do we know? But that's what she said. I but take he, you inside. <laughs> that's, like, one of the things that when you think about the ending of, like, June and Elvis, everything was going so good. And then it mm-hmm. just kind of, like, dwells out and it breaks my heart because I'm like, Elvis. It was so Elvis, random. Like, what are you doing? Like, why? Why? What happened? Because he would call when he filmed Love Me mm-hmm. Tender, he was still calling her constantly. And you know when he went on movies and there would be the other actresses on movies, like he was paying attention to those actresses. He wasn't paying attention to who was at home. He would nightly phone um June all the time. That says so much because he never did that with the other girls. No, they, he, exactly. they would go weeks without hearing from him. Exactly. Weeks. And so it's like that was crazy for him to still be doing that. But then the last time she leaves Memphis in Audubon Drive, all of a sudden Natalie Wood comes and it just kind of dwindles from there. And then that Vegas showgirl was there for Christmas in 56, um, which is like heartbreaking. He didn't call her on her birthday, which I was like, Elvis, what the what fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? She, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> June had every right to at that point move on though. Like I don't blame yeah, her. No, uh, if he didn't call me on my birthday, I would yeah. literally throw a fit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And so, <laughs> yeah, it was just, it just. It, I, oh, I it, wish I could have seen his everything. face whenever she said to him, I'm engaged. Like, I can't come with you. I can't imagine. Like. I can't imagine. I think what's crazy June. to me is that this was all before Graceland. She mm-hmm. didn't, she'd never been in Graceland ever. She's never been in Graceland guys. Like it, it, that's heartbreaking to me. That's heartbreaking. And but so, that day she was going to, he was going to take her to Graceland that no, day. He I had know. something to show her and I it was know. Graceland. Uh, I just, that's also mm-hmm. a spoiler. We're so bad. We got to put something in this episode about June's book because. Ah, <laughs> we're finally, can we can finally vent about it. Yeah. Y'all, y'all. Also, whenever I heard June named her daughter Tori. Bye. And she was associating, like talking with Elvis and Tori in such close proximity. I was like, Elvis has heard partially my name. Like close enough. Like I'm mm-hmm. sure he's never heard a name victory, but Tori. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. That's what no, it's like Wild. The El- it's Elvis magic. It's the little things. It's the little literally things. whenever she like I was listening to it because I couldn't read it, so I wasn't like listening or reading ahead. And she was like, "My daughter Tori." I like stopped and I was like, "What? You're, uh, June? It, what? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse I was like, me? "Is that me? Am I the problem? Am I the <laughs> Tori?" <laughs> I it the whole book is just magnificent, and uh, oh my god. Before we end on this topic, going back to Is It So Strange real quick. So there's an LP that's called Just For You LP. And it's it was recorded in January of 1957. It was released in August, okay? It was totally recorded Elvis, for June. It was recorded, literally was recorded for June, okay? Elvis told her that she's going to record Is It So Strange. And she was like, please record it. It never, she didn't hear it ever being recorded. And she always kind of wondered like when it was going to be recorded. Okay, well then when Pat brought the LP over in August... And she found out it was recorded in January. She mm-hmm. was like bawling listening to it because Is It So Strange is on there. So now I want that LP. It's like $60 on eBay. And then this morning when I'm getting ready for this podcast, I put on Sirius XM Radio. And, and again, like I really had never heard Is It So Strange until reading this book and like searching it up. I put it on and I'm like about to put my like serum on my face. And I literally get the dropper out, put it in my hand and I go like this. And it goes... The announcer, the DJ, he goes, oh, yeah, next up, is it so strange? And I literally sat there. I was like, uh, like, that's not a song minutes. they play often. Yes, it's like not. at all. It's, it's one of those not. rare ones. And so I literally was like, oh. and I because I'm like over here, like depressed for two days about this book, nonstop thinking about it, playing Is It So Strange? And then on Sirius XM Elvis Radio, they play. Is it so strange? Like, and I've listened a lot to that radio station, and I feel like they play, they do play some rare songs, but a lot of the times they play songs that are like very like well known or like, and so I just was, it was like one of those moments. I was like, Elvis Magic, like this is so isn't that wild? So weird, isn't it wild? I love it. I've never experienced 
what Elvis magic is to us with any other celebrity. I've never had like a moment with Harry where I'm like, I'm like Harry match. Like that just doesn't happen. Like with Elvis, it's different. It's so different. And you just know it's him. Like I, it's crazy. (laughs) It's crazy. Oh, it's wild. No, it really is wild. I think it's like, I'm telling you though, the fact that June was in Florida with Elvis and she's naming off all these places that I live. Like you guys, Lakeland, Lakeland is like not a spot that most people know, like Orlando or Tampa. Mm -hmm. Lakeland is 40 minutes from me, y'all. I drive through there like a lot. (laughs) There's something about knowing the spots that are talked about with Elvis, like when he's in your hometown or just like knowing where he is, like we (laughs) victory and i when we're in memphis are committing to going to like all the spots that him and june went to mud island you guys don't understand like skylar and i are like june juanico fans like we want to send her a christmas card and let her know like how much we love her and adore her and thank you like for sharing her story literally I just want to thank that. Like, that's all I want to do. I just want to be like, you don't understand how much your story means and like has moved both of us. Like, I, dude, if any, like, ser- on like a serious note though, if anyone wants to message us personally and just like let us know how we can send her a card or something like that, that please do. Please we do. won't share the info. Um, yeah. It's literally just for like personal use of just wanting to send her a card, but please let us know if you guys know where she is. <laughs> we would seriously appreciate that because. Like we said, time's running out with a, lot, a bunch of Elvis people, and it sucks. But I know, I'm just happy it's wild to learn more about him and read his, read the stories. You know, I know. So, oh, oh, and for yeah. the fact that she shared it like with her daughter is so precious. Like her, Tori was so proud and was like taking her scrapbook and showing all her friends at school. I can't. Can we talk about the last chapter though? I no, we just, I we want can't. to. I, I we want can't. to. We Why literally not? can't. Because I don't I, cry. We'll start crying. No, no, no. I we need to discuss that. We need to this talk about this. Is another spoiler. This is a huge spoiler. Okay, like seriously, okay, stop listening. So <laughs> I want to know. So Skylar called me and I told her. I think, like I told her before, and I I want to recall if you agree now with this. Do you think what June did could have saved him? Like if going there, yes. Like if like yes. I don't know because I feel like in 77 he was very different he was very different from the Elvis that she knew and I just feel like in it, at that time in his life there's no changing Elvis's mind on anything like mm-hmm. Elvis wanted to do what Elvis wanted to do and and not even in relation to like him to stop taking pills like there was he was sick like he had so many things wrong going wrong in his body at that time I don't know if she could have persuaded him to get it more checked out or what, but I think that if he was able to see her in 77, it would definitely lift his spirits a lot and they could have like a heart to heart conversation. I would hope because I'm like Victory said earlier, I'm reading G- Ginger's book as well. I'm listening to it on Spotify and it that book is just, it's just so different from what I've read in June's. Um, it. I feel like a lot of people kind of agree with this, but it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like romantic. Like it doesn't feel like pure. It just kind of feels like he needed someone and he was, she was there and like, she's super young. So I just feel like she kind of went with the flow and did what Elvis like told her to do. Yeah. And it just was, it just didn't seem like love to me, which is like so sad. But she was so young, too. Like, I can't imagine, like, being thrown into that at 20. No, you know? she was a baby. Yeah. She, like, Ginger was a baby at the time. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's different, like, reading, like, June's book and that book at the same time. But um, every love story with Elvis is different, you know? No one's going to be the same. No, so. <laughs> and they all had different, Yeah, I don't want to say purposes, but relationships, depending on the time and, like, what he was. Because he was different he with obviously with june with priscilla and linda and definitely with ginger um like at the time with linda elvis needed linda like linda was there mm -hmm. for him and that was a great that was great like like for what linda and him were and like at the time of priscilla like elvis really wanted a specific person and priscilla fit that person and like you know like every relationship served a purpose but 
I stand by my word that I just feel like there was nothing so like pure and true and authentic other than June's like oh seriously. I just can't get over the sign that her cousin held up said my last name's Juan Nico or my name's Juan Nico and the, he saw it and made someone go get it within the first few minutes of the concert yeah like that's, that's wild crazy because that's exactly what they were gonna do in the last chapter they were gonna hold, hold up a sign saying I either saying like this is June Juanico or like mm-hmm. my last name is Juanico again and like they couldn't because their their um show was in September of nineteen seventy seven. Did not happen, but and that is that's, fucking heartbreaking. That's June's <laughs> book for you. Yeah. Um so I feel, like could, I feel like we could close the June the June book thing of this conversation. Oh boy. I love June. Um, really but do. that book is life changing. And guys, I am going to do a series on TikTok where I'm going to do 10 minute videos and I'm going to read June's book to you guys because there was another creator on there who was reading Kathy's book mm-hmm. to people because Kathy's book is also really hard to get. And I just feel like I want the book to be more accessible to people. So I'm going to go by chapter by chapter and read it to you guys and also bring me joy like reading it again because I'm not a person who rereads books, but I feel like I need to reread this again. So you can also it's available on Audible as well. It is. Um, it yeah, is. you can get it through access of that. That's how I got it. It's $20 on Audible. Um, If you are down mm-hmm. to listening that way, do that as well. Like I highly recommend I just re- recommend reading like seriously. Do it. If you, do if it. You if you're know. looking for another Elvis yeah. book, that's a nice refresher. That one. If you don't know who June Juanico is, go, go find on out. Google immediately after this. <laughs> go find out. She's a doll. Yeah. She is a doll. I love yeah. her. Anyways, um, uh, Christmas. Spot- Christmas and Spotify came out, guys. Yep. Oh my gosh. The fact that we were on so many of your guys' Spotify wrapped, like, That's actually wild. is crazy That's, to me. Like, I didn't realize how many people, like, I we realized I how many people listen, but again, to see it, like, proof on your Spotify wrap yeah. is, like, kind of, like, amazing. I feel like we need to make yeah. a personalized video for all y'all to be like, hey, fans, thanks for I, listening to us, like Taylor Swift did for me, and I think, did you go on for Harry or something? No, I don't know. I one for Taylor, because yeah. my number one artist can't give me a video, so. Okay, stop. Neither could, obviously, neither could I just, mine. <laughs> I got Taylor. Everyone was, like, raving about how they got, like, videos from their artists, and I was just sitting here, like, I'm fine. Well, it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's fine. But, seriously like just thank you times a million again guys like we appreciate it so like, much the fact that you even like want to listen to like what we have to say about things want to listen to the it's amazing like, or even support us with printify and like buying from our shop and stuff like that like y'all go thank above you. and beyond yeah, and we seriously. we just we didn't expect it and like our numbers it's just so crazy it's so crazy like cody yeah. told us that y'all went to see him and you guys told him that you guys knew him from us and thank you for giving us a little shout out like Like, seriously like y'all are everywhere we love you like we seriously love you and the end of the year like it's super busy and like we just Mm -hmm. took two weeks off which were much needed it was so refreshing um yeah we don't know how many episodes are going to come out in december just because like with christmas and like my birthday and victory like has a lot of gigs on the weekend we're going to try to do, like, at least three, but, like, we can't guarantee that, like, every single week there's going to be one, but we're going to try our hardest to get back going for sure in January. Like, we will be gone for Elvis's birthday that whole, like, yeah. first week. So, and we, we have yeah. to discuss also that we will be doing a meetup if y'all are going to birthday. Um, We're going to have a specific location and time that we will be meeting up on Memphis time, obviously, Elvis yeah. time. And yeah. we're doing friendship bracelets. So please bring Elvis-themed friendship bracelets mm-hmm. to birthday. Spread the news. Even if, like, people don't listen to our podcast, let's just make that a thing for every yeah. event now. So, like, start yeah. friendship bracelets. I would Seriously. love that so much. Seriously. So if we'll post, like, we'll make a post about the meetup like when we decide our options what we're thinking is either doing a meetup like in the courtyard of the guest house one of the days we just don't um, want to get in trouble if all of y'all yeah, come or or no one yeah. comes. you know what i mean it, we've never done a meetup before so it's yeah. like we just don't know what to expect so either like we can do it at the guest house in the courtyard and kind of just like all hang and chat and like exchange like friendship bracelets or there is literally a fan meetup event at Graceland one day and we could do it there as well because that's already supposed to be like fan meetup event let us literally let us know your opinion on what you think we should do I have a feeling a lot of people will be staying at the guest house for birthday um 
but yeah friendship bracelets like are gonna be a thing like we'll have a ton to like trade like let's literally bring a friendship bracelet if you're gonna come to the meetup like I feel like yep. that's like admission in a way <laughs> like I don't know I just like think that's the cutest idea so I love it because like Taylor Swift fans do it why not Elvis fans too like Literally. bring some fun to it and exactly. there's so many cute songs and stuff we can do I'm so excited I know I know it's it's very exciting so we're excited to meet you guys because seriously like everyone we've gotten so many requests just to have like a meetup and I know this will be our like, first one well when and we most doable because I don't like yeah. we're a better place to be than Memphis like I don't know Arizona seriously. Florida are cool but I think Memphis yeah. is the spot to be mm-hmm. yeah and then once we do this at birthday then we'll kind of get an idea of like what to do Elvis for week Elvis week so holy crap Elvis week too <laughs> <laughs> I better start it's selling crazy. homes. I know, I know. I'm like, <laughs> it was like, it was a str- guys. It was a struggle to even like get us to birthday too. Like we were like, should we go? Like financially, should we go? Should we go? But like, there was no other choice. There we no needed to choice. go. Like we have to go. And so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And if you're going, let us know. We're officially going. See you then. We are. I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, I think we should do some Cadillac confessions. Yes, we should. Hot minute. It has been a hot minute. The struggle is always real. I, <laughs> I am just this music. <laughs> yeah. And you're doing a great job, Victory. Don't worry. <laughs> no. Doesn't want to like go down and like do that nice little transition of like mm-hmm. yeah. fading away. Well, I think it sounded great in my opinion. Thanks. So. I tried. So we're gonna do two today, and um, I'll start off with mine because this one Please. is a long overdue for Miss Megan. Megan, I'm so sorry that we waited oh, yes. so long to say your Cadillac confession. We have not confession. done Cadillac confessions yeah, in, like, I feel like the past while. three episodes. Yeah. So, so, hi, um, hello. Hello. Megan has a book club. It's called the Elvis Book Club. And if you go on Instagram, it's called literally Elvis Book Club. Um, And we just wanted to give her, like, a little shout out, a little promotion. Yes. Like, if you guys are looking for a book club, definitely go search up her book club and join it. She's so um, nice, she's by the so way, y'all. Nice. She's, she's so sweet. Yeah, she knows her stuff. Um, And I, I can't be a part of a book club because you know how I am with reading. But I support a girly who is a part of a book club. So <laughs> here we go. She said, hi, Skylar and Victory. My name is Megan, and I would like to start by saying how much I love your podcast and your content on TikTok. Oh, love you thanks. like you too i was inspired to create a space where elvis fanatics can congregate and feel a sense of community thus the elvis book club was born just so you all can get to know me and my elvis story i was 14 i am currently 20 when i first fell in love with elvis my mom had purchased a copy of the tv movie elvis and me and after watching parts of it i just had to have the book since then i have been reading any elvis book i found that could tell me more about who he was as a person Interesting Interesting thing is that my mom first became addicted to Elvis when she was handed a copy of Elvis and Me at the age of 14. That's a cool parallel. I love that. That is. Since Elvis came out, I have felt that I have found my people. There are now so many young Elvis fans, particularly young women, who are trying mm-hmm. to learn more about Elvis. And what better way to learn than to read books written by those who took part in his so life. So true. Or books that Elvis read himself. I have found other Elvis clubs. Oh my god, let me start over. I found other Elvis book clubs online, but I have not felt that these foster the kind of open discussion and community I am seeking to achieve. I want club members to feel that they are a part of something and can connect with others who share the same interests. With that being said, I've created Instagram and TikTok pages to promote the book club and have created a website for discussion. And so here's where she just talked about like creating the book club with us. Mm-hmm. And go and check out Elvis Book Club on instagram i have her we will link her in the description of this podcast episode as well um this is the instagram she has gone you guys have probably seen her she Mm -hmm. follows y'all and stuff like that um but she's fantastic and her website is is very professional like if you guys are looking for an established book club definitely check her out she i think they're reading larry geller's if i can dream right now which i also have that book and i need to read that you haven't read yet i need (laughs) to know though she i was looking at her post the other day Megan, can you send me this photo, please? I need this photo. What is that? It's It's 50s Elvis. It's 50s Elvis, and he's, like, just walking by. By his pink Cadillac? 
I don't know if that's the Cadillac. What is that? A golf cart? I'm sorry. I literally cannot see anything at this point. Okay. It's 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 a car. I don't know okay. if it's a Cadillac. But he just looks gorgeous and I need that photo. So sis, can you send me this photo, please? <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you, Megan, for writing in. I'm so sorry it took us so long to even read your email. That was on us. But guys, if you're looking for a book club, join the She's wonderful. Club. Yeah. She's wonderful. Well, our next email is from Abby. So Abby, okay, a shout out to Abby as well. Mm-hmm. Homegirl, she went to our shop and had a shopping spree she of did. Elvis merch. Literally. Um, we were taken back when we got that. And I, yeah. Abby, I hope you love everything that you thank got. You. Seriously. Yeah. Like, thank you for, thank you for even for wanting to from buy. Us. Like, we yeah. literally appreciate your support so much. And she's also a teacher, y'all. Like, which is amazing. Like, I know. You were, you. If you wear your Elvis merch to school, those kids are learning about a great rock and roll star. So, You're just teaching the next generation. You which is are, perfect. ma'am. <laughs> All right, so this is her email. She says, hi, Victory and Skylar. I enjoy listening to your podcast and I'm so thankful for two Elvis girlies close to my age. I always knew who Elvis was growing up from Lilo and Stitch as well as <laughs> listening to Blue Christmas every Christmas. Well, we're in the perfect season for this mm-hmm. one then. Since watching the Elvis movie last summer, I've been sucked in and has changed everything. I fell down the Elvis rabbit hole. It has brought me and my aunt, great um, Aunt Sandy close together. Thought I was going somewhere else. Sorry. (laughs) It took me a minute. I was like, I gotta make sure I read that one right. She's a big Elvis fan and has passed some of her Elvis merchandise down to me. I went to Graceland this past April for the first time. and It was mind boggling to be where Elvis lived and to see all of his things. I'm ready to go back and experience it all over again. I'm getting an Elvis tattoo soon. I'm she got it right and she sent us a photo of it and it's so cool. Yeah, Yeah, she got it. She sent us a photo. Queen. It's beautiful. And I'll make sure to send a picture. Oh, should have read that before stopping there. <laughs> also, my Elvis fixation here lately is Elvis in the Army. Okay, this is from October 20th, so I'm sure it has changed, but that's always a fixation <laughs> yeah. for um, Kelsey. So <laughs> I can't wait for a new episode and anything and El- El- anything and everything Elvis related y'all are doing. And her Instagram is abby.mixon if you guys want to go follow her as well because she is a gym and a sweetheart and a fellow Elvis bestie. But thank you for sharing. And she you, also – she just shared with us her Elvis Christmas tree. She says that she has it up, I think, all year round, and it's actually like, the cutest thing. Let me, Seriously. like, show the photo if I can. I just want to make sure. Like, literally, it has, like, a bunch of ornaments of Elvis, oh my and God, it's I actually so cute. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Right? right? I love it. Thank you, Abby, so, again. Seriously. Abby, thank you. Yeah, and she also shared a picture of her wearing her sweatshirt, and... We post it on our story. Yeah. Just the sweetest. Guys, yeah. If you guys ever tag us in anything or, like, share, like, you wearing the merch, you, like, buying a phone case, whatever, like, mm-hmm. we will always repost. Like, same with the Spotify wrapped. Like, that one day we were just constantly reposting and it was just the coolest thing ever. We so make them happy. Guys. Like, y'all yeah. don't understand. Like, whenever we get a notification, because Sky and I both share the account, mm-hmm. like, we get so pumped to see, like, what y'all are sending us. So, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. much. We love you. We appreciate y'all. Well, yeah. we're going on an hour, and I think Cadillac Confessions was a great way to kind of end the episode. I think that so was- too. Thank I feel you guys. Like we're thankful we for y'all. Talk about more, I but know. like we can leave it for the next episode. Um, we uh, couple like ending things. We're thinking maybe the next episode we go into a little bit more like experiencing like Graceland. Like I, mm-hmm. it's going to be past the year anniversary of my Graceland trip. So I would love to like go into deep dive about that and like kind of get victory excited and like what to expect. I'm already um, excited. I know. Just well, I mean, just like, like I just, everyone she's like, she's not has, excited. No. We got to get her pumped up. Like we got <laughs> No, she's excited. Everyone always has a lot of questions about Graceland. And like when I went, I had a lot of questions too because mm-hmm. I am that anxiety girly that like needs to control everything Aren't and know what's though? going on. Yeah, Aren't literally. we all though? We want to be most yeah. prepared for outfits and everything. It just yeah. goes down to like literally the littlest things mm-hmm. for this. Literally. And like when oh we my go gosh. to Graceland, like the vlogging camera will come with us. But like guys, like clearly we haven't even posted our vlogs. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot. It's hard. Like, like when- editing podcast videos is a struggle. I, yeah. I'm so scared. My husband recorded the whole vo- yeah. vlogging trip from Vegas, and I don't know what he got. I if don't- anyone, first of all, let me just put this out there. If anyone has any editing, like, footage experience and, like, 
maybe wants to help us out, let us know. Let us know. Um, so that we, we don't. I too fast. We just don't have time. <laughs> yeah, we like it's just so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. There is an episode though that we did on the camera that. I feel like it'd be like kind of easy just to like get out. It's when we reached a thousand followers and I was leaving the morning. It was the morning that I was leaving. <laughs> and we Rachel possibly, was sitting over yeah, there. Yeah, Rachel was sitting with us. We could possibly get that one out too because there's not mm-hmm. a lot of like editing to it. It's more just like uploading the video. So, Skylar cutting a cake and trying to pop literally. up. Like it was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, a, it was a funny like little episode and like, just know that if that does yeah. get released, that was in September. So if you're confused, Oof. you're like, what is this? It was in September. But, like, that would be, like, really fun to release to you guys. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we just – we're so thankful for you guys as Thank always. You. Um, if the, if the scheduling and episode releasing is a little crazy in December, bear with us. December's crazy in general. and Yeah, we'll try just to hang get, in there. Yeah, we'll try to get things We're back lucky that we're January. getting this one out. So. I know. I know, seriously. Like I have to get ready for another gig right yeah, after this. So we're yeah. we're lucky this is getting out there. So Yeah. So and next time we'll talk about more different things. Like I saw the Priscilla movie. Well, guys. I don't even know. Like this is <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, we're gonna go from June to Priscilla. Like, oh we're god, not what a about leap. This, this episode, but I'll mention it leap. next next episode. Nope. So <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you Thank again you as always. We missed you and happy December. Happy December. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah um what else happy holidays happy Happy cold season happy santa or um a capricorn happy birthday (laughs) happy birthday um i don't know what else but we'll see y'all soon love y'all bye dang it the christmas music is still not working oh whatever Uh, bye (laughs) y'all Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Elvis and the Pink Cadillac. To connect with us, follow us on our socials at Elvis and the Pink Cadillacs on Instagram and TikTok. And share your Elvis stories and experiences with us at Elvis and the Pink Cadillacs at gmail.com and you may be featured in the next episode. We'll see you next time. And for now, TCB and TLC. Bye. Bye.